This one doesn't turn. Well, Jamie Hyde, what the hell are you doing here today? We're going to open up this uh, window lift motor and see what the inside looks like. It turns very, really stiff. And you can see the rubber coating all the way around. Let me see. So these are off of 62-era uh, Chryslers. They're the kind that you have to ground the body and you get forward and reverse off of two lead-in wires. And sometimes it's a little tough to get the rubber cover off without cutting yourself. So, first we're going to take the rubber cutting off and then we'll be back. So we've got the uh, rubber removed. We used a uh, bench top wire brush kind of removed all the material all the way around and now we'll just tap the housing and see if there it goes well, there's wires that connect you don't want to tr drive it all the way out okay. the little washer here is supposed to sling the water away from going down the shaft and what happens is over time if it's missing a lot of these are missing you can use a uh, valve uh, stem seal from a slant six works really nice slides over the top you put a little when you put it back together you put a little dab of silicone to hold it in place but what happens is the water goes down and since this is all sealed in rubber it lays down in the bottom and as you can see all the rust that comes out and the shaft there this is what happens inside the motor you can see the rust and usually the armature rusts so the windings is the top this might be able to be saved if the armature rust in here then you're pretty much done but this one uh, look at the commutator material we might be able to clean this up and the bearings as well there's spacers that go on the shaft at both the top and the bottom so they're, they're sitting right in here. That sets the end play. May or may not have them. So this one, we might be able to clean this up. So there's the armature removed from the end plate. Well, these motors were made in Michigan. Some of them in the town of Owasso. Here's the end plate after it's been had some cleaning. So it really doesn't have a bearing so much as it's got a bushing. What I did is I chalked the armature up into a drill motor and I spun it with some emery cloth and uh, cleaned off the commutator and also the shafts on either end. Now what I'm doing is cleaning the gunk out between the commutator conductors. And uh, this is from the probably sitting with water in it. What will happen is if, if the commutator is ruined, the, it'll bridge across the two you'll see actual copper material and then uh, sometimes you can save it by cleaning it out with a with a small uh, tapered file tip or doing what I'm doing larger motors you can use a hacksaw blade to cut the groove Actually, okay this is the thermal switch that when the motors overloaded the current heats up and if it doesn't turn these contacts open 
and very often there's dirt in, in between there. If this contact is open, you won't get any power back. So we'll clean between there. We'll clean the uh, brushes and then we'll clean this lower bearing and put it back together and see if it will work. I just want to sand in there. I usually use a Dremel 